ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Let's Play of Nancy Drew, the final scene. When we last left off, we are about to make a phone call from the County of Administration. Then, the next step is the police, and finally, uh, Nancy's friend, Bess. But I must let you know that two of these phone calls are not helpful at this time due to situations. So, so, um, let's get right to it. Records, Madeline speaking. Hi, I'm looking for the blueprints for the Royal Palladium Theater. Do you have them on file? Are you a county employee? No, just a citizen on a mission. Okay, well, we do keep blueprints on file. Let's see. The computer says there are two sets for the Palladium, 1923 and 1956. Do you have a preference? 1923, please. The originals. Would you like to hold while I retrieve them? Sure, thanks. Yes, I'm still here. It's very strange, ma'am. They're gone. Gone? You mean someone checked them out? Oh, we don't allow people to check them out. You can bring the blueprints to our reading room and study them there, but they're not supposed to leave the building. I can't imagine where they could be. Hold on, let me see if Charles knows. <laughs> Ma'am, this is so strange. Charles says some guy was just in here looking at them a few days ago. What did he look like? Hold on. Hello? Charles said the guy had a hat on. He never really got a look at the guy. Was he young or old? Hey, Charles, young or old? Energetic is all Charles remembers. Hmm. Okay, well, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm working on some things over here at the Royal Palladium. Could you do a search for the blueprints? Sure thing. I'll put in a find request. Call back in five to seven business days. Next week? Oh, I'm afraid I don't have that kind of time. Is there any way to expedite the search? I'm afraid not. The guy who does our misplaced material searches just returned from a month of paternity leave, and he swamped. I see. This is urgent? Yes, it's urgent, all right. But I'll figure something out. Thanks, Madeline. Good luck. Bye. Well, well, well. So much from dear old Madeline. What a shame. Next up, we got a call, um... Got a call, um... We got a call the, the lieutenant which is 555-1422. St. Louis Police Department. Missing Persons Unit, please. Please hold. Missing Persons, this is Ramsey. Hi, Sergeant Ramsey. This is Nancy Drew. I spoke to you earlier today about the disappearance of my friend, Maya Wen. Hello, Miss Drew. You're calling to tell me that you found your friend, I hope. I wish that were true, sir. No, she's still missing. I'm calling to report that I have the evidence you asked for. What did you find? Someone else here at the theater found Maya's press pass. It was clipped to her shirt when she went into the dressing room. It must have been torn off when she was kidnapped. Or it fell off. Or she just tossed it. Maya is very serious about her work, Sergeant Ramsey. She never goes anywhere without that pass, and she would not willingly leave it behind. Is the pass damaged in any way? No. Was anything disturbed in the area where it was found? I don't know. I'm not the one who found it. Okay, well, thanks for checking in, Miss <clears throat> Drew. If Maya hasn't turned up by tomorrow, we'll definitely be out to investigate. Someone will take a look at the press pass then. But 
you said that if I found evidence, you'd investigate the theater today. I'm sorry, Miss Drew, but we can't go chasing after every kid who decides to take a leave of absence. The vast majority of missing juveniles disappear of their own accord, and they reappear when they're good and ready. You have to believe me. Maya would never play this kind of game. Nicholas Falcone said he thinks somebody is using her to make a statement. Nicholas Falcone? Is he involved in this? Are you involved with him? Paddett is demonstrating against the demolition in front of the theater. Nicholas has set up shop in the lobby. I've spoken to him. I'm not involved with him. Are you aware of the allegations against Mr. Falcone's character, Miss Drew? Allegations? Nick Falcone operates according to his own rules. He'll do just about anything to save a theater, and he's not afraid to use extreme tactics. What kind of extreme tactics? You name it. Vandalism, sabotage, chaining himself to demolition machinery. Is that right? And last year there was a situation over in Nashville. Just when the oldest theater in the city is about to be torn down, and mind you, had it is there in full force, a girl goes missing. So happens she's the daughter of the demolition boss. They go crazy looking for her. There's a call, just like the one you described. Anyway, to make a long story short, the demolition is called off. And three weeks later, the girl is seen snuggling up to Falcone in a Memphis coffee shop. Are you suggesting Nicholas is staging this thing? I'm just saying that there's more to situations like these than meets the eye. Nick Falcone is a real operator and he likes to humiliate the police. I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon here with this whole royal palladium thing and let him make my unit look like a bunch of chumps. I see. So you aren't going to have any credit with us if you join ranks with him. Does he have a criminal record? Oh, minor stuff. Disorderly conduct, trespassing, yada yada yada. But Nick Falcone can slime his way out of a sticky situation like no one I've ever seen. Unfortunately, there's no jail sentence for being a royal pain in the neck. There are no good citizenship awards for it either. Look, I know you're worried, but for now, there's nothing we can do. And there's nothing you can do either. Why don't you go home and get some rest? I'm sure you've had a long day. Well, this has been very informative, Sergeant Ramsey. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night, Miss Drew. All right, so now it's time to call Bess, and then that'll be the end of day one. Because we only have about three days before the, um, when the demolition starts. It's Nancy. Nancy! It's about time! How's St. Louis? Something terrible has happened. Maya went to Brady's dressing room to interview him. I guess he wasn't there. She screamed, and now she's gone. I think she's been kidnapped. Oh my gosh! Why would anyone want to kidnap Maya? I received a threatening phone call. Somebody wants desperately to stop this demolition, and they're holding Maya as a bargaining tool. Mm -hmm. That's terrible! Have you called the police? I called, all right, but get this. According to standard procedure, they can't get involved until Maya has been missing for 24 hours. What could possibly be standard about a girl getting kidnapped? They're not convinced it's a kidnapping. Well, how did she disappear then? Poof? Alakazam? Sergeant Ramsey says it could be a prank, or Maya might have just taken off or something. Sergeant Ramsey obviously doesn't know Wash U's most dedicated reporter. It's true. The only way she would have abandoned this story is if someone dragged her away from it. Do Maya's parents know? They always travel this time of year, remember? And besides, I've got to find Maya before this demolition. I doubt her parents could get back from the other side of the world before then anyway. What a mess. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been so personally attached to a case. Call me back when you know more. I'll get a hold of George and Ned and let them know what's going on. Poor Maya. I guess the only consolation is that she's got you on the rescue mission. Yes, indeed. And once we get out of the door, Joseph will, sh Joseph will show up and that will be the end of day one. I heard the whole thing, Nancy. Go get some sleep. I'll keep an eye on things till morning. This crowd is going real mad. They want this demolition to stop. And what's this? A reef. 
go and put a wreath oh thank goodness I thought I was going to lose my progress because sometimes I get stuck and it won't show me the arrows so it's best to save now before it's too late okay so now Nicholas is not here right now so I guess I'm going to have to talk to Joseph he is the only one that actually, like, understood Nancy. I'm sorry I had to see that wreath, Nancy. It's disgusting. This is one creepy kidnapper, that's for sure. Well, let's hope the kidnapper just did this to scare you. Like I'm not scared enough? Like I don't know time is running out? The phone's been ringing off the hook all morning. I don't know how the press got a hold of this, but they're all over it like ants on a picnic. Where did those missing posters come from? I can't say for sure, but I can make an educated guess. I have a feeling you and I are betting on the same horse here. Can you believe the way she diverted all of the attention away from Maya and used the poster to promote Brady as the big hero? This shouldn't be happening. It's all backwards. I, I forgot to show you all the, the poster. My bad. But if you check the, the door, if you check on Joseph's door where there's a, a post, not a poster, but, a, but like some sort of like missing poster, that says money is missing and then they show Brady. It's kind of weird. So where will you go after the demolition? Are you planning to retire? Greasewood, Arizona. My brother Jake is there. It's a tiny town with no movie theater, so we're going to put one on the map. I got some money saved. Tell me about that old key making machine in the lobby. Has it been out of order long? It's been broken for a spell. The kids lost interest in it when video games came along. But I bet it wouldn't be hard to fix. I'd love for you to see how it works. And then you can make yourself a little souvenir from the Royal Palladium. Or send a key to your sweetheart. Who is this J.J. Thompson character anyway? Old J.J. Owner. Visionary. Wheeler Dealer. J.J. Mm. loved a magic show. He had this place built with those kind of big spectacle shows in mind. J.J. also happened to love the sight of his own mug in the mirror. You can tell by the way he uh, ornamented the auditorium with his own head. For those of you who are not aware, I'm fixing my hair with a coconut conditioner. The history of this theater is so rich. I'm surprised the city of St. Louis isn't more interested in preserving it. Well, they are interested. The Historical Society's been working like the Dickens to get this place declared a landmark. But someone downtown has been stalling. They're awfully close. The police told me Nicholas Falcone is known for using extreme tactics to further his political causes. Why are you letting him use the lobby as his headquarters? Nicholas has been hanging around this theater since he was a little boy. Mm. I know how torn up he is about the theater. This will be over soon enough, and then he'll go home. I don't think he's dangerous, for gosh sakes. Gotta go now. a girl. Okay, now we gotta talk to Nicholas about the, the situation. But first, let's take a look at this poster here. This is Maya. And look who it is, Brady. For some weird reason. And something tells me that Simone, the agent, is the one behind all of this missing wanted posters here's nicholas nancy what's the 411 thanks to you the police think this whole kidnapping is a hoax that's all hearsay nancy they got no witnesses no testimony no nothing so you have or have not used kidnapping to further your causes in the past? I am not an eco-terrorist, and I would never orchestrate the temporary disappearance of anyone who wasn't in on the plan and down with the cause. Maybe you'd better think about being in on the law and down with the truth, Nicholas. All right, Officer Nancy, chill out, will ya? I'm on your side. Joseph told me that the St. Louis Historical Society is in the process of trying to declare this building an historical landmark. They've been in that process for years. It's all just a big wad of red tape, a bunch of bureaucratic hocus-pocus. 
Habits about action, not paperwork. Catch you later. On the flip side. Let's talk to him again. I got the number. I left it in the ticket booth. This woman isn't a Houdini herself. She's the widow of one of Houdini's cousins. Maybe she knows what's happened to Houdini's half of the theater. I'll call. Okay, the the Houdini uh, subplot is something that you gotta do in order to progress the game. So, we gotta... Here's the phone number. And before I do that, I gotta save... Save it as phone for now. And we'll continue on. Number is one eight three five 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 three two four seven. Yes, hello. Hello, is this Eustacia and Dropoff? Who else would it be? Everyone else is dead. Oh, Mrs. Andropov, I'm sorry to bother you. I'm trying to find out some information about Harry Houdini. Is it true that you're his cousin? Who wants to know? Oh, I beg your pardon. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm a detective working on a case in St. Louis. Harry was only my cousin by marriage, but my husband is dead, and so is Harry. So I guess that makes me nobody's cousin. Satisfied? I'm researching Mr. Houdini's ownership of the Royal Palladium Theater. Would you know anything about this? He owned it. Half of it anyway. For a few months. Then he died. Does that help? Do you know what happened to his half? Did he sign it back over to J.J. Thompson? Return it to James Jehuzaphat? Mr. Stupendous? Not on his life. Losing that man was Harry's greatest escape. Did someone in Houdini's family inherit the theater? Harry made a plan to give his half of the theater to someone he admired. A young magician, I assume. Perhaps a protege. I remember my husband telling me this. Can you tell me anything more? More? I'm 96 over here. I don't exactly have time to burn. I know it was a long time ago, Mrs. Andropov, but this is terribly important. My friend is in danger, and finding out what happened to Houdini's half of the theater may be my only hope of saving her. Call the Library of Congress. Ask about the Houdini collection. There must be something in all of those letters. You tell that Sherman Trout, your station set. You're not dead yet, Sherman, so get up and make yourself useful. The Library of Congress. You don't happen to have that number, do you? <clears throat> well, I should have this letter from Sherman around here somewhere. Catford coupons. Vincent Jack has a repair. There you stay. Here we go. Library of Congress, Washington, D.C. Two zero two five 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 zero zero zero. Thanks, Mrs. Andropov. You've been a great help. Save it for my funeral. Okay, so this is the Library of Congress uh, phone number, and I think I think we're we're gonna go ahead and call them because that's the most important thing. So it's two zero two. Five, 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 five. Ugh. Really? We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. This is a recording. So it's one, two, zero, two. Five, 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 zero, zero, zero. You have to put the one in in order for this to work. Ugh. Manuscripts? Uh, I'm trying to reach Sherman Trout, please. Speaking. How may I help you? Hi, Mr. Trout. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm a detective working on a case that involves Harry Houdini and the Royal Palladium Theater in St. Louis. Eustacia Andropov recommended I call you. Ah, uh, yes. Eustacia was most helpful to us when we were assembling our Houdini collection. I presume you'd like to have a look at it? Yes, please, Mr. Trout. I'm very interested. 
fine. Well, you'll just need to register with the library when you get here and fill out a request for the materials you wish to view. When your request has been processed, the materials will be delivered to one of our reading rooms where you can view them. Mr. Trout, please let me explain. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to come to Washington, D.C. to do research. I'm hoping you could help me find a document. Well, Miss Drew, I'm sorry if you have logistical constraints, but please understand my own limitations. The Library of Congress currently holds over 40 million items, contained in 10,000 separate collections. It's the largest and most comprehensive library in the world. I simply don't have time to run research errands for the individual citizens. Mr. Trout, if I don't solve this case in a matter of hours, the building I'm standing in will be demolished and an innocent 19-year-old girl, a friend of mine, may lose her life. You may be my only hope. Why is your friend in danger? She was kidnapped by someone desperate to save this building from demolition. And what can you possibly be hoping to find in the Houdini collection that would help matters? Mr. Houdini was part owner of the theater. And I'm trying to find out who inherited his half, or what became of it when he died. I'm hoping Houdini might have discussed it somewhere in his personal documents. If I can prove that the current owner is not legally the full owner, then maybe I can get the demolition stopped and save Maya. I see. Well, this sounds urgent. I suppose I can take a look. That would be such a help, Mr. Trout. If you find anything, could you overnight it to me at the Royal Palladium? Well, I certainly can't send you the document itself. It's a historical artifact now. But I could send you a slide. What's the street address there, if I find anything? It's 1330 Washington Avenue, St. Louis, Missouri, 63101. Please send the package in care of Nicholas Falcone or myself, Nancy Drew. I can't tell you how grateful I am, Mr. Trout. You might just be a lifesaver. Miss Drew, I assure you, Sherman Trout is a man of his word. Thanks so much. Bye. Okay, finally we gotta get some help these days. So annoying. Okay, so, now that we, we finally got somebody that can be useful, Let's go ahead and head to Brady, Brady's um, dress. And the reason is because, well, uh oh, that's not it. I accidentally knocked the door. Probably because Brady isn't here. Which means I get to look at this book here. Hmm. And there's some highlights. Sunset. You grab your destiny by the horns and sail it into sunset. Fame, fortune, and social popularity. Body language too. You are my oyster. Hmm. Okay, this is weird. Okay, let me save here. Alright, so let's head on out the door and talk to Smoke. Because we need some answers about... About the... Have you seen the posters? Aren't they fabulous? That picture of Maya is the one from her press pass, isn't it? Yes. Thankfully, she's photogenic. That poster is just an advertisement for Brady. Maya's on the poster. It says she's missing. So what's your issue? <laughs> Brady's out plastering those posters all over St. Louis and every podunk town for 50 miles. He's due back at any time, though, for the press conference. Press conference? I've invited the press here today to report on Brady's commitment to solving this case. You know, a few questions, a few photo ops, no big deal. That funeral wreath was awful, wasn't it? You saw the wreath? 
Where is it now? I had it moved out front for the press conference. We want the press to know just how heartless this kidnapper is, don't we? Then it's all the more fabulous when Brady saves the day. I think your phone's about to ring. Ciao. And here's a, here's a fun thing about Simone, though. On your stage name? I'm thinking Samantha Quick. You love it, right? I think your phone's about to ring. Bye now. <laughs> she comes up with names for Nancy. Mm -hmm. All right, well. Looks like we need to... Let's see, what do we need to do here? Let me think. I think it's time we, you know, head on out. Not like outside, but like... Let's see, what am I looking for? Press conference is not going to start though. Did you call? What's the story? Sure did. Go on, spill it. She didn't know much, but she gave me the number of this guy at the Library of Congress who has access to the archives of Houdini's letters. And what did they say? Sherman Trout is on our side. Keep your eyes peeled for a special delivery. Way to go, Nancy. You're on fire. Can you believe Brady's agent has called this press conference to trump up his heroics? She can barely even remember Maya's name. Don't worry, Nancy. This cowboy will be on the scene with a megaphone in each holster. I guarantee you the press will get more than they bargained for. Mm-hmm. Catch you later. Fight the power. Okay. So now what we need to do is that we need to talk to Brady. Are we wondering what's the point if he's not here? Well, that's because you have to talk to Nicholas first before getting to Brady, because I believe he has returned to his dressing room. Let's see. Yep, here he is. How are you holding up? Thanks for finding Maya's press pass. Where was it? I found it in the basement. Uh, I mean the balcony. <clears throat> it was the balcony. Balcony, basement, whatever. It's just my friend's life that's in danger here. Please, Nancy. It's not me. I guess I should have my eyes checked. I could have sworn that poster was all about you. It's Simone. She's relentless. I'm just a hostage on her runaway bus. That's funny. I don't see any gun to your head. Just a wad of money dangling in front of your nose. It's more complicated than you think. Listen, I've got to get ready for this press conference. I'll talk to you later. He's not even leaving, really? Well, anyways, let's get out of here. Because it is quite obvious. It is quite obvious that, um... That he's having a hard time right now. Okay. Uh, okay, folks. Uh oh, it looks like it's starting, which means we're about to snoop into everyone else's uh, dressing room. You're probably wondering why. Well, it's because there's something we need out of here. No, no, no. Oh my goodness, I'm getting stressed out right now. So I'm gonna put it on careful. Because I don't want to get caught. So what we need to do right here is we need to go here and pick up this bobby pin. Remember uh, when we saw something uh, in Brady's um, drawer? It was locked. So 
this you have to press in the corners and then in the middle. And then we activate the stuff. Here's some emails. Oh. Oh yeah, and we're supposed to look at these. this. And you're probably wondering why? It's because this proves that Simone was the one who called about the reef. I know, it's terrible, isn't it? And I think what we need to do here is we need to go to the secret passage. Just because it's cooler and fun yeah. and it's a shortcut. Okay, now I gotta make sure that Brady isn't here. You know? Yep, he's not here right now, so we can go here. Use this bobby pin. And there's this book. There's a number there. We can't go back until we flip the pages. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Okay, there's nothing. Alright, so... Let's see what else that we could do here. I don't think there's anything we can do here right now. But let's get out of here. So it looks like in, in this episode we've made a lot of phone calls and everything right now. Now the question is, do I continue forward or end this LP for part 3? I think right now we're still going to continue forward. So, let's go back. Yes, smart Nancy True. You're wasting precious time. Stop the demolition or you'll never see her again. Oh my goodness. That made me startle. That startled me. As I try to explain. All right. I've called this conference. Oh my goodness, that stole me even more. You need to stop. All right. So we need to go to Joseph's um, place, and what we need to do here is we need to fix these controls. But in order to do so, we have to press in the code. One, two, one. One, one, I don't know if it's working or not. Let's find out. Nope, it's not working. I must have missed something. Guess smart Nancy True. You're wasting precious time. Stop the demolition or you'll never see her again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I did that the last time. <laughs> We're going to save here. I'm going to put it on careful. I believe I'm missing something. Alright, so the code is actually 121192. One, yep, that's it, that's the one. Okay, so what we need to do here is to press the left and right button. And next thing that we need to do here is that we gotta move these switches down. Hopefully this is working. And look what we have here. Mm -hmm. 
you got some bit of music. Interesting. Okay, and then here we got a trap door. And there's something that we need to do. Okay, something's going on with this machine here. So let's go ahead and go to the locker. And we're going to grab this. Because it's going to be used for later. And we're also going to be using this locker, locker um, later on too. In this Let's Play, but not in this part of this LP though. You see, Brady Armstrong is a hero. Oh my god. He is not a hero. Alright, so we need to go to these trap doors here. This is not good. We are now stuck. But we need to figure out how to get unstuck right now. Let's see here. I'm trying to think. I believe there is a secret door, but I don't know exactly I don't know exactly where that spot is. Let's see here. Come on, Brittany, think. Let's see, go back here. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. No, I want to go back down. Oh, there it is. These pieces won't budge. These pieces won't budge. Indeed, it won't. Got a bit of an elevator thingy. We go up, and what we need to do is to knock. How? Is anybody out there? Who's there? It's Nancy. Nancy? For goodness sakes. What are you doing down there? This chair seems to be stuck. Hold on, I'm greasing the wheels here. I found a secret room under the stage. I've got to check it out. The magician's room. <laughs> I swear, Nancy, as long as I've worked here, I've never been able to find my way in there. Really? I found the door, but the pieces that open the door are stuck. Here, try this. Hurry. This is weird. Well, it's not weird, but the fact that he's so close to the base is just like, no. That's just too much. Sorry. Okay, so we gotta go back here. This should loosen things up. Indeed. But what we need to do here is that we need to, like... What we need to do here is we technically gotta... 
remove the pieces. Technically, what we need to do here, if I can think of what I'm doing, what we need to do here is that we gotta remove the pieces to get the rabbit into that spot. And we're at the magician's room. Awesome. Yes, it's awesome. Alright, let's take a look at this. That's the guillotine. Very terrifying. Alright, so. Let me go ahead and save my progress for the magic room. Even though I would spell magician's room, but I didn't have time to like, you know. I will be streaming this game um, on Twitch though. But not today, just, you know. Rubber is shockproof. Indeed it is. You're probably wondering why... You're probably wondering why am I taking these rubber gloves? Well, you'll soon find out. And, we gotta take a look at, um, let's see. We gotta take a look at... Oh, no, no. We gotta take a look at this. She was just here! Her shoe! That, these are evidence that should be, and hopefully be enough, for Nancy to call the police and stuff. And this is something to do with magic tricks and stuff. And this has some relations to the race. I have to turn a lot of pages. This is just insane. Okay, so I think that's it for this room. So now we gotta we gotta Right now we gotta like, you know. The gate is electrified! Yeah, and that's why we need the rubber gloves. But first I gotta save it to be careful. Because I don't wanna mess things up here. So we use the rubber gloves. We have to continuously press the correct buttons. And it's random ones. So five. Five, three, no, five, three, five, three, six, five, three, six, five, three, six, seven, Five, three, six, seven, nine. Five, three, six, seven, nine, four. Five, three, six, seven, nine, four, one, two, eight. All right, now let's get out. Nancy! Hey! I think the kidnapper just moved Maya to a new hiding place! Have you seen anything suspicious around here? Wow, are you sure? I didn't see anything. I found evidence that will prove that Maya's being held in this building! Wow! Evidence? Where? I'll talk to you later. I've got to get a hold of Sergeant Ramsey. Alright, so this is the best time to talk to Sergeant Ramsey. And the reason why is because this is an urgency map. Whoops, didn't mean to look at the picture. But I do believe that this will be the end of this part of the LP. So, I'm going to go ahead and save it on phone for now. And that is it for part two, ladies and gentlemen. So stick around for part number three. Will it be the last part? Or will it be just the continuation? 
well, you'll find out soon enough. Until then, uh, stay safe, stay healthy, be kind to others, and have a blessed day.